Hi everyone, I'm going to be setting off for West Brom in about an hour's time. Um, I've not been so good over the last couple of days, but I'm, I'm feeling a lot better today. So I didn't think I was going to make this, but I am going to make it. And I'm so pleased because I, I feel this is a chance to finally beat West Brom. We haven't beat them since 1963 and it's about time we did. I went last season. I've been a couple of times with my dad as well over the years and we've never won there. I thought we should have won last season. And, you know, Gabriel was playing really well until Andy Carroll fouled him and he had to go off. And, uh, you know, we were still the best team second half and we, we lost to a late, late goal. And uh, I can still remember Critch now stood on the pitch just in awe of the Blackpool fans just cheering him on because they put on such a great performance. And it, it's one of the proudest moments, I think, of all the time I've been a Blackpool fan. We just stood there singing them even though they'd lost. And I think that's the, the beautiful thing about Blackpool fans, you know, we're... We are so passionate, we make so much noise. It's always a pleasure to make the videos and get you guys on there. And I'm hoping, you know, this is another great video. We're going to be getting home late tonight from West Brom. I don't think this will be on. I don't think the video will be on first thing in the morning. I think probably about five o'clock tomorrow it'll be on. Hope it's a winning video. I love bringing you winning, winning videos. I love doing these things. You know, we do them so you guys can see who haven't gone, just what it was like to be there. And I'm loving making the videos for, you know, you know, for all of you exiles, for, you know, for Blackpool fans, because, you know, you, you're, you're our family. It's, it's what we've done all our lives. And uh, sometimes I get a little bit disappointed um, when there's people complaining, you know, people complain, you know, there's too many children on. Well, you know, for me, they're the future of, of Blackpool Football Club. They're going to be the ones who are going to be teenagers and then young men and they'll be chanting when we're sat in the west with a blanket and a flask and they'll be they'll be singing and bringing their kids along when you know I'm, I'm no longer here and they're the future of Blackpool Football Club they're probably the future vloggers that you're going to watch uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to show people how to make vlogs and how to make friends with the fans and how to see the good things in, in everything and not always the bad. And, you know, I, this is the most exciting time, I, I, I think, and I've, I've said it already, I think Appleton is playing the kind of football that I, lo I love to watch. I love exciting, attacking football. We don't always get it right. I thought we were tremendous at Coventry. On Saturday, you know, I thought we were great against Norwich at home. I thought we were good at Sunderland. You know, I think there's points we could have picked up. We were fantastic at Sheffield United away, just robbed by a referee, really. And I, and I just think Blackpool are getting better and better and better. And I hope that carries on because I want to see us climb the table. There's only a few games left, four, four games left before the, the break. And I'd like to see us in the top half of the table if we can. But it's Blackpool and we all know that anything can happen. Uh, West Brom at bottom of the league. On, on paper, they're still favourites, I think, for this game because nobody ever sees Blackpool as a, as a, you know, as a club that's going places. I know we're always the bookies' favourites to go down. And yet, you know, I, I always think that um, we have a special ingredient really and and that's us fans and there's nobody th there's nobody like Blackpool fans you, you know Coventry were loud but it's, it's not a patch on Bloomfield Road there's there's no ground you go to where all three sides are bouncing and Bloomfield Road's brilliant when it's bouncing and we go away and we make more noise than 700 people or a thousand people should should make and I'm a little bit disappointed that we're not getting the crowds in this season, as, as we should, and I think that's down to pricing. I, I think it's I think it's wrongly priced. And Simon Sadler, you know, if you're watching this or any of the board, you know, I think you're doing a fantastic job. I, I can't praise you enough for the stuff you're doing. You know, anybody can see that the club is moving forward and there's things happening, and you know, the stadium's getting better, and you, you're doing these, you know, the lounges and everything's wonderful. But I just think you've got the pricing wrong. I think at this time when money's tight and Everybody's got problems with the energy crisis and everything else. And Blackpool's not a wealthy town. You know, it's, it's one of the poorest towns in the country, if not the poorest town in the country. And I, I think charging £30 is is stopping people coming. And, and I think we've got a great chance this year. And I'd like to see Bloomfield Road bouncing with people, you know, thousands in there, roaring them on, because we all know what we can do. You know, Simon Sadler, you know full well what we can do when there's thousands behind this team and we're making loads of noise. We can take this team anywhere and we can certainly roar them to safety. So, you know, 
maybe consider it after the World Cup, maybe maybe cutting some things down so people can come and, 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 and watch the game and we can have it packed and even get, you know, fans in that East Stand as well on that side. You know, we can do it. I just know we can. If we've got the will, we can. And uh, I hope you do. Uh, and I hope you want more and more bums on seats because this this team are, are playing great football. It's best football. I've, you know, I've said it before. It's the best football since Ian Holloway. It's, it's, it's lovely, wonderful football. And, uh, you know, we're, we've got a few lads coming back from injury. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, I bring you a great video tomorrow. I'm looking forward to the game. I need to go because it's like history making. If we can do it. I need to be there. I need to film it for you all. I, I really do. Uh, um, so I hope it is. Thanks to all you lot for sticking with us and subscribing and helping us out and, you know, to the businesses that support us. We're still looking for more. We're still looking for sponsors to help us because it costs a lot of money to do this. You know, it costs a lot of money to do it all and we could do with a bit of a, a help. So, you know, if you've got a business and you, you know, you want to help sponsors and you, you you know you want an advert doing we'll do that for you gladly we've got spaces and half time or before you know we can we can help promote your business and uh, we just need a bit of hand so if you'd like to help us please, please do you can email me lee at leecharles.tv and uh, have a chat about it so um anyway i'm gonna get off i'm gonna get off i say three o'clock i'm setting off so if you're going to West Brom, hopefully see you there. Hopefully get you on the video, uh, you know, coming out, celebrating. Um, if not, if not, if not, it, you know, it's one of those things we go again, don't we? If we don't do it, one day we will do it. We will beat West Brom at the Hawthorns. So see you soon. Fingers crossed.